So Nintendo's biggest, greatest, best NX system has now just been revealed as the Nintendo Switch just yesterday. Really huge deal for tons of Nintendo fans all over. And you know, there was this really cool trailer. We've seen the look of this new system now. We've got some great specs. Everybody's involved and the thing looks pretty goddamn cool. Uh, on the other hand, there's a lot of impracticalities with it. In which case, you're probably asking asking yourself the question, should I buy this thing? Because I've been asking myself the same thing. And really, the thing looks awesome. It seems like it's going to be really cool. And you know, for whatever price it is, you're thinking, oh, maybe I'll get that for Christmas. Or yeah, maybe I'll get that for Hanukkah. Or maybe I'll get that for my birthday. But again, the question is, should you buy it? We're going to answer that question here today. So overall, the thing is pretty slim, and that's obviously a good thing just comparing itself to, you know, the Xbox One S and even the PS4 and what the PS4 Pro will be. The controller itself is actually really cool, something that I think we've never seen before at all. There's just kind of this big squarish looking controller, and it's got three sections to it. You've got the left section, the middle section, and the right section. Now, both the left and right section can slide off. Now, what is the purpose of these two parts sliding off? Well, they actually, they slide off that and they connect to the big portion, the, the, the main center, the core of the actual console itself. You pull up on that once you've connected those two side pieces of the controller, now to your, you know, center core console, and it's become this kind of, I, I, I guess, cross between an iPad and like a 3DS. And it's pretty cool. I don't think anything has ever been like this before. And, and that's the whole idea the whole thing of it, it's called the Nintendo Switch because you can switch between it actually being a console, between you actually playing with with this on your TV or, you know, small TV or, you know, big computer you've turned into a TV, whatever you have, and you could switch from that into making this a mobile thing, a mobile way to play, you know, while you're sitting on the park bench or while you're, you know, at someone's barbecue or on the plane or whatever, but just because it's cool doesn't mean that it goes without its flaws. And I'm not trying to nitpick here. I'm just trying to state the facts and, and, and think about these things before I actually spend however much money this thing actually is. Because if you look at this guy, it's going to probably be around that three to $400 range. This technology is, again, something we've never seen before. And I'd be very surprised. And I, you know, I think it'd be nice if, if Nintendo would make it less than that. But, you know, just based upon how it's being sold, it's going to probably be in that three to 400 range or even more. That's just kind of what I'm going to ballpark it at. Now, again, one of the biggest things everyone is talking about is this idea that you could pull off these, you know, two handles of, of the remote control, use them as joysticks, right? Kind of like the nunchucks from the Wii. Uh, you can use them as part of the whole device. It's kind of like the 3DS type style. You could hand one to your good friend or your brother or your mother or your dad or whatever, right? And uh, you, you, they, you, everyone can have their own remote control because then, you know, if you turn their, their control sideways it becomes its own thing so the controls themselves have a lot of practicality um, but the, the whole thing is the screen itself is not huge and if you if you're not playing on on a big you know TV or something it's gonna be hard to play multiplayer on a smaller screen I mean this screen is definitely going to be smaller than something like a computer I haven't held the thing I don't know exactly I don't see people bringing those things to people's houses or to parties or events unless you're gonna have some sort of tournament or you're at some sort of game convention uh, not that I don't think it'd be fun to do that you know if you you're like, hey, everybody bring your Nintendo Switch to the so-and-so's house, right? That could be cool, but it doesn't, that sense, it doesn't seem very practical. Uh, in which case, I don't know how much use you would get out of it other than the fact of just bringing it around your own house. And to me, that is the, the, the greatest benefit of this whole thing. Let's say it's 1157, right? And, uh, and, and you're, you're 14 years old and, um, you're in an intense, very close to being done boss battle or you're, you're in some sort of battle of Legend of Zelda, you know, whatever, right? You're, you're doing something and, uh, you're, you're, you're almost done. You're almost, you're very close to beating this thing. You've been working hard on it all day and your, your dad comes downstairs and he's like, dude, it's, it's almost midnight. 
get the fuck upstairs. And, and, and you're like, ah, oh, you know, I gotta go do that. And in which case, normally you'd probably have to just shut off your, your whole council or you, you pause it um, and then you go and sleep for the whole night. But then you wake up and you come downstairs and you realize the whole system shut down because, you know, it realized nobody was playing it. And then you're like, oh, crap, I forgot to save it. Right. So you, you don't have to go through all that. Right. You can just if you're if your dad comes downstairs and he's like, dude, get, 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 get the fuck upstairs. You're going to just have to be like, oh, all right. And then you on you you take your whole switch out of there. You know you walk upstairs and you finish whatever you're doing in your bed under your covers, whatever you got to do to get it done. Got to you got to you know drop a deuce, right? You, you go in the bathroom, you do it, you bring your your Nintendo Switch, and then you sanitize. I hope something along the lines of that. Wet wipes, I wet ones. I heard I, I hear that they're very sanitary. The point is, it's practical around your house. And I, I respect that, but I just don't see it being a big deal other places. But aside from all that, let's talk big guns here. Because there's a lot of other councils out there, specifically two, that are huge and that are about to get even bigger. I'm talking Xbox One and now the Xbox One S. And of course, the PS4, soon to be in, you know, however many months, the PS4 Pro. And then some other big system after that. And then Microsoft's got, you know, the Project Scorpio. Um, and, and they're huge. Those two are the biggest systems. They do something that the Nintendo systems have never done and it don't seem like they really will do. And that is produce and, and kind of be a host to big name studio games and big games that people are really looking forward to. Something like Call of Duty. And I'm not saying that, you know, we and hasn't done, you know, Call of Duty, but it's just not the same. There's not the same feel. You don't get the same feel. You Usually Nintendo is doing Mario related games, Legend of Zelda games, uh, Kirby games, uh, Donkey Kong, you know, Yoshi, uh, other Splatoon, you know, that type of stuff, that's more Nintendo. Then you go over to something like Xbox One, PS4, you're, you're on something like, you know, Fallout 4, Gears of War, uh, Injustice, uh, Overwatch, um, you know, all those big things. So the big thing here is, will this new Nintendo system be the host to these big name studios? I don't know. I don't know exactly. There's a massive list of names. Activision Publishing, uh, Arc System Works, uh, Atlas Co, uh, Audio Connect, uh, Autodesk, Bandai Namco, of course, that's another big one. Uh, Capcom, Level 5 Inc, Marvelous Inc, Maximum Games, Platinum Games, Sega, Spike, uh, Chunsoft, uh, Telltale Games, it's another big one, TT Games, Ubisoft, all of those studios don't sound like Nintendo, 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 no, it, it sounds like they are opening this up to these big game things. So until we get an official announcement that all types of games are coming here, don't just assume. I think we need to wait to see what type of games will be officially released for this. I think we need to wait to find out a price for this. And uh, I think we need to wait for somebody like IGN or some other just big company or whatever to actually get their hands on this thing. You know, for Nintendo fans, I say this is a dream come true. And as me being a uh, Nintendo fan, I'm like, this is pretty goddamn awesome. But, you know, as somebody who is ready and willing to, you know, make cuts, you know, and, and to kind of understand a budget... You know, I'm like, all right, why don't I sit back here and kind of just take a look at the reality of this and the practicality, and that's all what it's about. You know, if the price is right, if that that's, for me, that's where I'm going at. If the price is right, you know, if, if it's five, six hundred bucks, I don't think so. But if it's maybe three hundred, maybe four hundred, maybe somewhere in the middle, maybe if it's a Black Friday sale or some holiday sale or Fourth of July or whatever, right? I, I'm probably leaning a bit more towards I'm gonna buy this thing. I recommend buying this again if it suits your needs and if the price is right. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, and just wait for more information to come out. I probably will be reporting on this. This is probably this is kind of like my first big gaming video I've done on this channel, or a gaming related video. So you guys gotta let me know if you like this thing. If you want to see more. If you don't, uh, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know if you are planning on buying this thing, not buying this thing, somewhere in the middle do you like the whole idea do you hate the whole idea let me know i'm very curious and i'm rider signing off with infinite attitude and keep riding guys bye